Hello, everyone. My name is Ned Dennison. I'm the chairperson of the International Marathon Swimming Hall of Fame. We have two guests with us today. Marcia Cleveland. Say hello, Marcia. Hi. And Pilar from Argentina. Hello. Pilar, I will ask you to pronounce your last name because I always get it wrong. Uh, hey ho. It's like hey ho. Hey ho. Let's go. Hey ho. Hey ho. <laughs> yes. um, I, I want to give you a small background of each of the ladies. Um, starting with Pilar, uh, she is an elite racer, has won five majors. She's been on the podium 39 times in big swims. And she also has uh, touched the epic solo swims with a fantastic swim, the Rio de Plata from Uruguay to Argentina. Um, Marcia is um, the fastest triple crowner of more than 200 people who have done that uh, challenge over the years. She holds several speed records. She did a great TED talk. Uh, she wrote one of the early books in the modern era on uh, the Dover solo. And she's contributed a lot to US um, Master Swimmers magazine. So let me start with some questions. Um, both of the ladies visited um, the International Swimming Hall of Fame Museum in Fort Lauderdale as, as young girls. And I wanted to, uh, to, to come back to that because it was really unique that they had both done that. And now they're going to be on the Sea Goddess Trophy um, in that museum when it's, when it's renovated. So Marsha, let's start with you. You know, what age were you when you visited? Was it a family holiday? Did you go to Disneyland? Were you already a budding swimming star? Uh, did, you, did you kind of imagine being in there someday and just any memories of your visit? Well, um, my grandparents had a house in Fort Lauderdale, uh, about four miles north of the hall. And we would go down maybe once or twice a year to get out of the cold in the Northeast where I grew up. So um, uh, it was, I just remember it was some random dreary day. I think it was in February and you know, my parents and grandparents are looking for something to do with four reambunctious kids. So we went to the hall that day to look through the museum because I was a budding eight and under, you know, I was a good swimmer. I wasn't a great swimmer, um, but I could have stayed there for hours. I just loved it. You know, I love reading every single thing about every single athlete and honoree. And I just loved it. Um, you know, I, of course, I got pushed along because there was, you know, I was one of four kids and let's go. Um, but I do remember that I got this bag that said International Swimming Hall of Fame on it. And the reason I know when I got, when we went there was because I put my roller skates in it when I went back to school. And all that spring, I roller skated up and down the sidewalk during recess, during school time. And I had that bag and I think I wore it out. I don't know what eventually happened to it, but I just, it really made a big impact with me. Um, and then when I was 12, I was on the Connecticut all-star team and we went there for a swim meet. And I just, that was the first time I swam in the pool and I really swam out of my mind um, there, but there was no way in the world I could have ever envisioned that I was going to be someday an honoree. Um, you know, everybody wants that, you know, every athlete on any sport wants to be in the Olympics or whatever, but visualizing it, you know, this was probably 1973 or so, you know, that's place where Mark Smith spits and Johnny Weissmiller and Esther Williams. And I don't even know if I could have named another swimmer who was in the hall at that time. But no way was I ever going to be there. So, you know, and after I swam there, it was kind of a, you know, I had an okay career swimming wise. Um, but when I couldn't wait to have it be over. <laughs> and then when I moved to New York, when I was in my early 20s after college, things kind of changed for me. So that's my early person's story. So I'll hand it over to Pilar now. <laughs> Can we tell us about okay. your trip? Yes, yes. Thanks, Marcia. Um, well, my my story is 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 not similar, but it was when I was sixteen. Um, I went with my father 
I was qualified for the first World Championship Open Water that it was in Hawaii in 2000. And I was the, the most, the, the youngest in the, in the national team. And I went there, I raced for my first time as an international race. And once, once a time we, we come back, we stop uh, in, close to Florida, to Miami, because our trip uh, was in that way. And my father uh, says to me to, to go there. And it, it was so funny because you ask um, if we met the Disney line, no? And it is so funny because this was my Disney, you know? This, the Hall of Fame was my Disney line. Um, I met Hall of Fame, but I didn't meet Disney line. But this was my, my Disney. So the first time I was there, it was 16. And once a time I went there in South, and it was like really emotion because um, I don't know if it's still the, the same distribution, but at that time it was like a wall for each country. And it was the, the, the walls from Argentina. And in that part, uh, it was Alfredo Camarero. Alfredo Camarero was my reference when I was a kid. So I saw him in the, in the wall and I just dream to be there some someday, you know. And it was very funny because when I came back to Argentina, I wrote a paper, a paper that, that says a future world championship, no, you know, and and I put this paper in the in the desk where all the every day I study. Um, for this reason, my, my my visit there it was like very very important, and I always say that it was the, the place where I dreamed for first time to, to win the, 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 the ranking, you know, the, the, the world uh, championship. Um, so bringing a, a, a young child, a budding swimmer to that uh, Hall of Fame museum, I, I can see lots and lots of positives, but, but I sometimes worry that you know, a very small percentage of footballers are going to be playing in the World Cup finals. A very small percentage of pool swimmers are going to be standing on the Olympic podium uh, for 50 meter freestyle. A very small percentage of open water swimmers are going to be international marathon swimming hall of fame. How do you, you know, how do you advise parents to, to, to bring their kids and encourage them while at the same time not making them crazy. You want me to answer well, that? <laughs> you go, you go, you go first, Marcia. You know, I think that with everything with parents raising children is finding the passion. And if you find that passion, you're going to do what you love. And like you just said, Ned, that, you know, such a small percentage of people get to the top and I was certainly never one of them you know I don't think that the hall of fame should be the end goal it should be part of the journey as you're getting along there and you know your peers are going to recognize you if it's supposed to be um, but I just would say just do what you love and find what you love and as a parent I mean I've been on both sides of it you know if the if the child demonstrates that they're really in love with something like the hall of fame, take them there and maybe they can read about it. Cause maybe if they're not going to be at the athletic end of as an honoree, maybe they can become a journalist because they're really knowledgeable about what they're doing. You know, if it's the football or the, you know, basketball or whatever hall of fame, having them be really immersed in something that they love is going to spur their passion. Mm -hmm. And if they're not that interested in it, well, then find something else. But finding something that you're really passionate about is going to allow you to take that long-term journey. I mean, for me, I really thought I would be done with swimming after college. And at age 58, I have done most of my major swimming at, since college. You know, and I found that I really loved open water swimming and I just happened to be good at it. And it certainly kept me sane a lot of the times and it keeps me in shape. So there's been times I've trained lots and there's been times I haven't trained lots, but and we've raised two kids and, you know, balancing work and all that and family. I just 
say that parents just need to see that if this is a passion for kids, let them embrace it, you know, visit the hall, but don't make it the end journey. Really? Yes, yes. Well, I, I am agree completely with Marcia, but also maybe I can add the, the, the importance of the supporting of the parents to the kids. Almost, almost no. Uh, I mean, with, with more importance during the first years, you know, because when you, because when 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 you are maybe five, six, seven years, usually you don't go alone to the pool. You need your parents that take you to the to the pool and be with you and coming back mixed with the school with the activities with the family activities so i always um, make the maybe put the attention in the first years of the of the of the of the, of the boy girl that needs the support of the parents um, not also in the good moments um, in, in the bad moments too you know yeah always uh, make the, the importance to to let the, the kids, that the parents always be with them, you know, in the good moments and in the bad moments. But my, my message for, for, for parents is the importance of supporting, supporting during, during all the age, but most during the beginning, because they need the parents to do a sport, to do to the pool, you know. So this is my, my advice. So just to, to make it clear to everybody, the um, the International Swimming Hall of Fame in Fort Lauderdale has a, a fantastic facility. They have just completed the, the incredible new high diving tower. The The museum itself is under renovation, so we, the main part is closed for some time. Uh, we're very fortunate in the International Marathon Swimming Hall of Fame. We fit underneath the wing of the International Swimming Hall of Fame, and we have some of our own uh, trophies and exhibits and um, and memorabilia in 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 the in the museum, and we're very we're very proud of that. Um, ladies, uh, thank you very much for your time. It's been interesting to touch base on your past, and uh, we we'll wish you a nice holiday season. Thank you. You too. Thank, thank you, Ned. Thank you, and, and we yeah. hope we hope one day maybe go again to the new new Hall of Fame. I'm very excited to new the new one. Fantastic. Yeah, maybe I'll go up the high dive. I won't. <laughs> the whole way down. <laughs> awesome.